Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. We're joined by the new Icelandic champion. Give him the Gatherson. How does the feel? It feels pretty good. Uh, what were your uh, expectations going into the tournament? Um, well, I prepared very well. I've been preparing very hard for like a month. And uh, my goal was to finish like top three. Mm -hmm. Well, I always wanted to win the tournament, but, but sometimes I. I can go a little like ahead of myself. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, uh, you can play. I mean, you can beat almost almost anybody. But sometimes, you know, the weakness yeah. is also you reach too right. far sometimes. So. So I thought, uh, you know, top three like would be a healthy goal. Yeah. And um, yeah. <clears throat> You've also been playing a lot. Uh, well, this year, last year. So I mean, your you form quite good, you think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was also putting a lot of emphasis on you know, like eating healthy and exercising. Yeah, quite important to have the energy because yeah. also usually you're playing the longest game, so yeah. <laughs> you need the energy. Yeah, I, you know, you had three rounds in a row where you were yeah, playing the longest game. Yeah, in my last tournament I could really feel that um, where I had like three of the longest games of the rounds, like after like three or four rounds. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, had a, we had a day with a double round. And uh, I lost both games against low rated players. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was just exhausted and I couldn't uh, mm -hmm. really focus. So yeah, so I think that uh, the free day really helped me. But you, you tend to have the longest game, so would you say that's, that's because of your style? You tend to play um, professional yes, and then probably, for a good end game? Yeah, probably because I'm happy to play you know, an end game with some slight chances. Yeah, and just press and uh, yeah, probably because of my style. I mean, I'm not uh, particularly like trying to. So, so do you have any uh, any favorites uh, among the top teams? Do you maybe like Magnus because of, of, of these sim similarities? Or? Um, I guess so. I mean, it's a very universal player, but also I mean, he's very good at end games. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, Kramnik also. I mean, I was a fan of him. And yeah. And when I was like seven, I read. Um, Did you have his uh, old red uh, book? Yeah, I have yeah. it. I think, but I haven't really read it. Yeah. Probably read the introductions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, one of my early early favorites. Yeah. No, but I read the um, uh, Karpos book or some book. Yeah. With the Karpos games. Yeah, that was when I was like seven or something, and, and uh, after that I improved a lot. So you tend to prefer positional players? Mm, I think I'm. Um, no, I'm. I like playing any kind of chess. You know. I, yeah. Yeah. Don't try to go for any uh, particular like um, game. I just uh, just try to be ready for you know what comes up. I also enjoy you know like crazy complex positions. Yeah. Um, I want to maybe ask you about maybe your opening preparation for the tournament. Yes. Uh, is it correct that you tend to maybe select maybe one weapon for a tournament? Or I noticed in this tournament you played the touch in almost every game of black. Mm, yes. Um, but uh, I mean, you played it before, I think, but not yeah, as your main weapon. No, no, or? now it is like a, a serious preparation. I mean, yeah. Normally, my <laughs> opening preparation is okay. not very deep. But okay. Uh, yeah, but it, I uh, I prepare very well for each game. So. Um, yeah, so sometimes I can, and I played a lot of different stuff. So, mm -hmm. so usually I'm quite well prepared for each game. But um, yeah, for this tournament, um, yeah, I did some, did some work on the dots. Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't matter how much time you have; you it always feels like you don't have enough time. Yeah, no. <laughs> and uh, so I didn't really do much work on other openings. Okay. But any any special reason why you went for the Dutch? Any any inspiration or um, I Nakamura just, or Kamsky? Uh, or? I just wanted to play. Um, I don't like playing um, like passive defensive chess with Black. Or you're just playing for like almost for two results. Yeah. Just like you know taking more risks and uh, if I'm well prepared like in the Dutch, it's a very playable opening. And the engines don't really understand it always okay. similar to the Kings and yeah. so you know I can yeah, do exactly. some good preparation and uh, even if white is very well prepared you will just get a complicated game and you can uh, 
Yeah, you can play for a win with black, so that was my goal. Yeah. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah, like today, I mean, okay, at one point your opponent maybe had a chance late in the game, but otherwise it looked most of the time quite okay for you. Yes. Maybe, maybe even early, early uh, the computers were preferring your position. Yeah, um, well, he surprised me with my a4. Yeah. Yeah, and I felt like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can talk about the game today. If, uh, yeah, sure. So we had the land guard and uh, yeah, talked about here. You, here you have a choice, maybe c6 or or playing with with uh, what a5 and queen e8. Yeah, c6 maybe more solid. Yeah, I think c6 is good. There are also other options, of course. Yeah, rook b1 is definitely a um, a serious option. Mm -hmm. Right. We want a5, uh, stopping, stopping b4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are also other moves, like a6, for example. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, quite critical, I think. I think it's like this normal. And then uh, there have been some, yeah, rook d1 is more common. Yeah. That's and he said, okay, this had been played a couple of times or something, he just wanted to. Uh, he something. said it had been played uh, two times. And he told me that stuff is liked it. Mm -hmm. okay. And he said that uh, black should go, um, yeah, according to the engine, black should go rook a7 or rook a6. Yeah, but that looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I didn't feel like playing such a move. Yeah. Um, yeah, knight d4 looked interesting. I mean, I, I uh, when I played knight d4, yeah, I had to spend some time on it because I had to evaluate the position after queen d3, like later in the game. Yeah. yeah, after, you know. Yeah, after, after, after the first sequence, happened. after this, yeah. yeah, here, queen a5, the knight has to move. Yeah. You take uh, queen d3, yeah. yeah. Rook a6, yeah, and take and take. Mm -hmm. yeah, this was what I had, had to evaluate. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, uh, because this seems more or less forced, it seems like white's best Yeah. Fine, I guess. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I was thinking about some knight g5 moves. But I thought I should have something. Uh, yeah, he didn't like d5. Yeah, that's probably yeah, okay. what I would play. I probably yeah. have to play. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should go d5, but I, I, I'm not sure how this position is. Maybe it's uh, quite okay. Yeah, I think um, the computers were around equal, maybe minus 0 0.2 or something. So it's nothing, nothing too yeah. credible. On this point? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Because uh, yeah, here I thought that um, this should be good for... Uh, so he thought the 94 should not be good. Yeah, so after, yeah, basically 3 maybe. Can we see what happens after? 94. 94. Well, he wants to go bishop e3. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe there's some other option. Yeah. yeah, but it just made sense, you know, it goes knight a4 to, uh, if I can put my knight on e4, it makes a uh, lot of sense, but the stock just likes it for for white. Yeah, but I, just, I knew that um, if he doesn't play knight b6, I would have a knight d7, mm -hmm. I thought. I mean, I wasn't sure about the position, but uh, um, <coughs> I don't trust um, the the engine's evaluation completely. Yeah, it, I mean, looks, it just looks like an interesting position, but because now, it, yeah, if I go ninety seven directly, then he has ninety five, of course. So, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, we had that uh, yeah, ninety seven here, and ninety five. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, then. Yeah, it seems like you survived the opening and. Mm -hmm. Wasn't anything good. Yeah, so I was quite happy you know, at this point. So maybe. Yeah, I didn't like Bishop E3. Uh, I, yeah, I was expecting that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, if he doesn't have. If Bishop B3 is only the only thing that he has, then uh, Black should be mm -hmm. just fine. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, look, quite sorry. So I mean, okay, nothing maybe. Special happened after that uh, one point, maybe where he could, after Queen G5, where he had some chances. So maybe that was that, and maybe the first round, maybe the only uh, only opportunities were when uh, 
or moments where you uh, were in danger of losing the yeah. whole tournament? Maybe. Yeah, in the first round, well, I uh, there I was taking some risk. Because, yeah. I mean, I saw a drawing line before I went queen f4. Yeah, I think I can go this f3 and uh, should be a draw. And, yeah, so uh, yeah, and the so first against Hendrik. And then Maybe at yeah. one point he had, had and a also chance. the chance that he had it was not so simple to see. No, no, exactly. And uh, yeah, I actually saw it. <laughs> so I was very <laughs> happy when he took on C6. Yeah. No, but that game against Hirden, uh yeah, there I was definitely um, very close to losing. Uh, that was in uh, the second round, though. Yes, but okay, then later I, I was just completely winning in the, in time trouble. But then he found like a really nice uh, way to make a draw. So yeah, I mean overall I'm just very happy with my play. Yeah. Just playing. Uh, yeah, I mean I didn't lose a game in the in the tournament. I don't remember when was the last time yeah. that happened. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just string together like, a good tournament. And it's always like yeah. every chess player string together a good tournament yeah. where he, everything goes right for you. No, I mean seriously, I don't think like I don't remember like a serious strong tournament where I. Uh, not lost a game. Yeah. Even yeah. when you got your first team, you did lose yeah, a game. Yeah, I lost one game from. Yeah. So okay, <coughs> when you saw Hannes gave up, you know he uh, agreed to a draw. I mean, um, maybe mixed feelings. You know, okay, whew, I'm champion, but yeah, you know, I okay, like, I still have to make a draw. Uh, yeah, it didn't I'm really. Slightly worse. It didn't really go through. Um, probably. Uh, probably still is, hasn't gone. Through. No. So we just focus on the game still then. Yeah, I mean, I tried to just. Well, for the whole tournament, I I just tried to uh, focus on each game, one game at a time, and just you know, mm -hmm. always said you know I'm just going to do my best, and, and uh, yeah, and we'll see what happens. You know. Okay, but but for now, uh, any any future plans uh, for tournaments? Or? Uh, You're of course, hoping to get selected for the Icelandic Olympia team, I guess. Uh, yes. You're making a strong case after this tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think the winner goes directly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. Team. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I think I think the team is announced today or tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, so we'll see. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, of course, I'm very happy with that. And uh, but of yeah. course, the future goal is is, is GM. Now you have two norms. Yeah, I just want to finish that. Um, yeah, I'm playing very well now, so hopefully, I can finish this. Uh, this year, then um, I'm I'm gonna play a tournament, okay, a close uh, team tournament in Finland. When is that? On the twentieth of June. Oh, okay, so yeah, no. yeah, there's three weeks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> and I'm going to a Russian Russian uh, chess camp. Okay. In Saint Petersburg. Okay. Kalifan or? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's, uh, some strong yeah. players, hopefully. Yeah, but um, it will be interesting. Yeah. And then after that, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll stay in Russia until uh, the Olympia. Until the Olympia, until, yeah. Yeah, just hopefully they won't cancel it. Yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Congratulations. Say hi to Oli, I think he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, things are more or less finished so while we were on the break uh